You're listening to the American Democracy Minute, keeping your government by and for the people. Today we're looking at a principle called the Gingles Test that federal courts use when determining whether a gerrymandered redistricting map is a violation of the 1965 Voting Rights Act. How that test is interpreted can determine whether minority voters can elect the candidate of their choice or their vote is diluted by an anti-voter state legislature. A group of black voters sued the North Carolina legislature in 1982, arguing their voting districts violated the Voting Rights Act by diluting their vote and keeping black North Carolinians from electing the candidate of their choice. Before it came to trial, Congress clarified the VRA to say intentional discrimination didn't need to be proved, just the effect of discrimination was enough to be a violation of Section 2. Thornburg v. Gingles created a three-part test for federal courts to use when considering whether a VRA violation had occurred. It stipulates, the minority group is sufficiently large and geographically compact to constitute a majority in a single-member district, the minority group is politically cohesive, usually voting the same way, and the white majority votes sufficiently as a block, usually defeating the minority's preferred candidate. As shown in the recent overturning of Louisiana's new congressional map, the interpretation of geographically compact and politically cohesive still leaves wiggle room for discrimination. We have more on Gingles and the VRA at AmericanDemocracyMinute.org. I'm Brian Beal.